Welcome to the first lesson with Spark AR Studio. In this lesson, we will build together a simple filter. Thereby, we will discover about face tracker, face mask, retouching, animation sequence, how to export the project, upload it to the Spark AR hub and public it. To follow this video, you need a list of images with 1024 x 1024 pixels like this. You can download it in the description. For filters that use images, the first thing to remember is compressing all the images you use to get the smallest file size. I have compiled some of the tools that I often use at GitHub. I will try to update further during the course so you can easily use it. Select tinypng.com to compress the image. TinyPNG.com is a great smart compression tool to reduce image file size and is very easy to use. Drag and drop all the images you have to compress it. Wait for the process to finish. Click download all. Unzip the file. And you can see the image size is reduced. Perfect. You can now use this list to import into the Spark AR Studio. Now create the filter. Create a new project on Spark AR Studio. I will choose my video for real-time simulation. You can choose the video you like or use with the camera on your computer. First and whenever I create new projects, I always make my face smooth. I don't want to look at myself ugly in the filter. Let's create a face tracker and add a face mesh inside. Change the name to skin. Remember that always rename the object for easy management later. Adding materials to it. I will pause the video simulator by clicking on the play icon. Then, change the shader type to retouching. Now that your face has become smoother, Drag the slider to see the change. You can also apply retouching only to face or full screen by checking or unchecking this box. Add line art elements. For this part, you will learn about plane objects and how to create animation sequences. First, add the plane object. By default, the plane object will display in square dimensions and has no materials. You can see fixed plane object on the screen. But I want this plane object follow my face. Drag and drop the plane layer inside the face tracker. Nice. It follows my face. It's easy, right? Add material for it. And don't forget to rename. Change the shader type to flat. Then, create a new animation sequence. This animation sequence will appear here. I will rename it to Mask Sequence. Perfect. In the right bar, select the drop-down button and create a new image texture. The animation sequence works with list of image and the same size. Please select all images that you previously compressed. You can also change the FPS value so that animations run faster or slower. Now I will edit the size of the plane to fit my face. I will change the scale value to 2.5, 2.5 and 1, corresponding to X, Y, and Z. Perfect. So you created your first filter. Congratulations. After you finish creating the filter, always check your filter with the actual device. To make sure your filter work well. Let's preview it by selecting the device icon, then selecting the platform you want to preview. You will receive a notification in your Instagram account. Click to open the camera and preview it. Perfect, right? Congratulations on creating your first filter. To publish your project, click on the publish icon. You will see a pop-up. Here you can check if your filter conforms to the publishing policies. Let's make sure your file size is less than 10 megabyte if you want to publish to Facebook and less than 4 megabyte for Instagram. If all fit, you can see that your file size is green color. Click export file and save it.
Upload and Public. To upload it to the Spark AR Hub, you need to prepare three files, 1. Export the file you made in the previous step. 2. Icon image, you need to create an image of size 200 x 200 pixels in JPG or PNG format but not transparent. 3. A video is recorded using Instagram's camera in less than 15 seconds. Visit website, sparkar.com. Click on Effects Manager. This is the interface to manage your effects. Click Publish an Effect button. First, choose the platform you want to publish. I will choose Instagram. This is a preview of how your effect will appear on Instagram. Upload your export file to the Effects File section. Add your effect name. Then, choose the category that match your effect. You can enter some keywords you want people to find your filter. Go to the media section, click upload your demo video here. Next, add the icon image. Demo videos and icons will appear here. You can check the icon guide here to make it right. And the same with the demo video. Green color is what you should do, and red is what you don't do. Write something for reviewers to instruction your filter. And click Submit. Cool. Your filter is being reviewed. Please wait for results from the Spark AR reviewer. For Instagram filters, results will usually be returned within one to two business days. However, in some cases it may take up to 10 days.